Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be upgrading my 2015 MacBook Pro Retina display to a 512 gigabyte hard drive. Now the obvious question at this time is where did I get a hold of a 512 gigabyte hard drive? First of all, there are no third party vendors that have created this hard drive as of this video. So you'll have to pretty much search for an original OEM factory SSD. So make sure you check out the description where I explain everything. So first I'm going to show you what the current specs are. So let's go ahead and jump to the computer and show you that. All right, so we are on the computer now. I'm going to go over to the Apple logo, select about this Mac. And from here you can see that I have MacBook Pro Retina Display 13 inch early 2015. And I'm going to blur out most of the serial number, but I'm going to leave the last two digits so you can see that nothing has changed. That's all I'm going to give you guys so you can stay tuned. Next, I'm going to go over to storage. As you can see, I have 121. That's how much free space out of that 128 you have. So yeah, that's my main hard drive right there. All right, so that's about it. So we'll jump back to the other camera. All right, now that you've seen that, let's go ahead and go into the pre-requirements. So first of all, back up your computer. You don't want to lose any data because you're obviously changing to a different hard drive. So make sure you back it up. Make sure you already have the SSD, which is right here. Basically, that's what it looks like. I haven't figured out how to use the autofocus on my camera, so I usually use a bottle cap for the screws so you don't lose them. Make sure you have the USB installation so you can reinstall the operating system. This one has the latest Yosemite 10.10.4. I'll have a link in the description showing you how you can create your own. You're going to need a Pentalo P5 screwdriver. You can check one out on eBay. This is probably the easiest since not many stores carry this. And I believe you're also going to need a Torx T5 screwdriver. Alright, so we are ready to get started. What you want to do is shut down your computer, obviously. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the case and flip it upside down so I'll be right back. All right, so I've removed the case. Let me see if I can get a better view. Right, right there, seems good. Now I'm gonna flip it over and this is model number A1502. So in case you're wondering, it is the 2015 Retina display. All right, so you wanna go ahead and take your pentalobe and remove all the screws around the outer casing in order to get access to the computer itself. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna shut down my camera because I'm running out of battery. So I'll meet you guys on the other side. All right, so we removed all the screwdrivers around, all the screws, my bad, around the bezel or whatever this is called. Now we're gonna lift the gate for the first time. Um, okay. All right, this is taking me longer than expected. But when I figure it out, I'll let you guys know what I did. All right, so I figured it out. All you have to do is go back here and lift it up with like your nail or something. Uh, I do apologize for not keeping the camera on the whole time. I looked at it before recording this video and it was fully charged, but now it just says it's dying. So I'm trying to do this for you guys. So this part comes out just like that, put it aside. And that's what the computer looks like. So this right here is the hard drive. That's what we're gonna be taking out. So, looks like it is held together with a screw. Uh, let's try the T5. Alright, so yeah, it looks like you will need a T5 screwdriver. That's what I'm using to remove the hard drive. There you go, that's the hard drive. I'm going to put that one with, it's a black screw, so you're not going to confuse it with all the other ones. Um, now you're going to remove, carefully remove that hard drive and insert the new one in. So I'm going to cut off this part again. I don't want to run out of battery and then not be able to complete this tutorial. All right, so just a quick demonstration here. We have the 128 gigabyte hard drive. 
here we have the 512 gigabyte hard drive yeah that's correct and this is the 128 yep so I'm just gonna put this one away in the box just gonna put it away and we're going to keep the 512 so it's very easy to install I'm gonna try to move the computer over here closer to you guys just you know slide it in and lock it down with the torque so see you guys once I finish that okay so we've completed the installation you might want to check out make sure it's uh doesn't go anywhere um, after that go ahead and pretty much do all the other steps backwards put your uh, cover in and then put the screws yeah that, that's pretty much it very easy uh, replacement so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in put all the screws in actually it's recommended that you don't put the screws in until you make sure it works so we're just gonna put this in and I'll be back all right, so we put the cover in, I flipped it the other way around. Now you want to take your USB installation and plug it in. And plug it in right here. And you want to power it on and then hold the option key to boot into the USB. So power it on, hold the option key. And apparently it says, uh, okay, okay, I see what's going on here. So basically the hard drive was pulled from a factory computer so we do have the operating system installed but if you want to start from scratch you can go ahead and do this now I did not know this before making this video it comes with the operating system built in because it is pulled from a factory computer so we're just gonna go ahead and basically save you guys a lot of time and go ahead and boot into that it should take us into the you know the welcome screen and stuff there you go that's the main screen but yeah, basically we can tell that the hard drive does work. So that's good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through the setup process. And once I'm finished with that, I will show you guys a speed test and show again the, the screen where it shows my information. So we'll, we'll go through the setup process and I'll be back. All right, so we're back. Now here's what I ended up doing. I went ahead and booted up from the USB drive so I could get the latest OSX release, which is 10.10.4. Instead of setting up the one that came with the SSD and then having to update, and then, you know, updating would take a few hours on my internet speed. So I decided to just go ahead with the USB. It would have been much faster. So I did that. Everything seems to be running perfectly. Um, I am installing Blackmagic Speed Test so I could show you guys what that is like. So um, that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the computer. All right, so I have completely set up my computer. I have it set up the way I want it, you know, all my apps and everything. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the upgrade. So let's go ahead to About This Mac. And again, we see MacBook Pro Retina 13 inch early 2015. You can see the last two digits of my serial number. Nothing has changed. It's the same computer and we go to storage and we now see 500 gigabyte flash storage so yeah I pretty much installed Mac then I went ahead and installed boot camp everything seems to be running perfectly I absolutely love this SSD and yeah that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and go to the speed test alright so I'm gonna go ahead and click start and boom that is impressive read all right so i'm gonna go ahead and stop it so i can go ahead and take a screenshot all right so here we have it the before and the after now finally the obvious question at the end of this video is why did i not go ahead and buy the high-end MacBook Pro with a 512 gigabyte already built in. I would have had better specs and the 512 gigabyte SSD. Well, the answer to that question is that, well, at the time of purchase, I was positive that some company out there, whether that be Transcend, Crucial, any of these companies that make hard drives and SSDs, I was positive they would make an SSD for this computer. Well, it's been a couple months since it came out and there has been no word on whether they're working on it or not. 
So I went ahead and searched around again, read the description to find out more. And I found this. So yeah, and I'm actually pretty happy with it. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had fun upgrading my SSD and you know, talking about it. I had fun saying hard drive instead of SSD throughout the whole video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.